Hey guys, this is me Rachit and welcome to your channel the video. Today we are going to talk about the art of time management or achieving multiple things in your life. A brief introduction about me. So I've graduated from IIT Roorkee in 2017 and working with Microsoft for around two years now as a software engineer. So when I was in IIT Roorkee, I was, so I was studying electrical engineering and it, and I realized that it's difficult to get into the software engineering world if you're not from computer science background. And also, uh, you have to deal with your academics as well because maintaining a good CGPA is very much important when it comes to your master's in computer science as well as it's important because a lot of companies like Adobe, Amazon and Microsoft have some minimum requirement of your CGPA when they come to hiring to campuses. So as a student, you have to maintain good CGPA and also you have to be really good at programming. And how do you do that when you are not from computer science background? It really becomes difficult and you have to manage time. Also, for me, fitness was very much important. Like, think about it yourself. Let's say you're devoting four or five months in something and you suddenly feel low about yourself, about your achievements. And at that point of time, your physical fitness is also not good. It really becomes difficult to cope up with such situations and maintain your morale. So that's why I also maintained a bit balance on my fitness as well. Maintain a balance between my fitness, my academics, like my CGPA was almost nine. My resume, like I did internships when I was in second year as well in Growfirst, then in third year in Flipkart, and then finally after fourth year I joined Microsoft. I was also able to really excel at competitive programming and, and also on a lot of programming t-shirts. I also did web development, backend development, Android development, machine learning. So these are some of the areas I invested my time when I was in college. And in this video, I will try to tell the tips that I learned which helped me do all these things. Talking about how I maintained the CGPA, I used to devote 10 or 14 days before midterms as well as before end terms. I used to go to some good student who used to regularly go to the lectures and I used to get a brief overview of what I am dealing with. Then I used to have my Xerox ready of the notes and then I used to go to YouTube, search the topics, try to find some videos which are really good and just watch them. If there was some playlist, I used to watch that. Then I used to come back to notes, try to correlate the things that I have already learned from the videos. And then finally, I used to try solving tutorial problems or that is the assignments that you get in colleges. So while solving the tutorials, I used to just think about the solution and, the, and then see the solution itself because solving takes a lot of time and we are short of that. So in this way, I used to prepare for academics and I was able to maintain my CGPA close to nine. Another tip that I would like to give over here is that I... I never directly jumped into the notes and started reading from page one. I used to first build a story. For example, in motors, I used to first see that, okay, we are going to study three types of motors. Okay, for every motor, they are first showing their characteristics, their the physical principle behind its functioning. And then we are going to study its characteristic curves and then various usage scenarios. So I used to build up a story and then see what I'm dealing with. And I used to search on YouTube videos. Um, I felt them quite helpful because you have short time and YouTube videos can be really good source of uh, productivity. Coming to competitive programming, I would, uh, I would say start with it as soon as possible. So I started in my second year in fourth semester to be honest and, and I kept on doing that until my fourth year. I still do it sometimes because I love it. Of course my priority is a bit different right now so I'm not able to devote that much time. So in competitive programming I realized that it, it be, you will be good at it only if, if you stay motivated. And to stay motivated, you need to see some results, okay? So if you're investing your time, you need to see results. And once you see that, you push yourself more and it works like that. It's like what happens in a gym. If you are spending your time and you can't see any results, you would of course give up. So that's one thing that you should know. And to improve or excel over there, you need to step out of your comfortable zone and try to solve problems that you can't solve already, okay? So yeah, if you're not doing that, you won't excel and you will of course give up in one or two months. So, and competitive programming is something I would say, do it for two, three years. And if you do that, you will achieve the state wherein you learn the art of problem solving and you are ready to solve any coding interview problem. If not all the problems, but you know the basics of how to approach problems. And even if you're not able to solve the problem itself in interviews, but if you're approaching it the right way, the interviewers can still hire you, okay? So now time management is coming into picture. If you are not interested in your lectures, like if you're in electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, and your lectures are not good, you are not interested in that, um, you can simply think about data structures and algorithms that you have already learned so far. Or maybe you can read about new data structures and algorithms. And even if not that, you can solve competitive programming problems. Maybe there is some code chef challenge going on, and you can 
read the problem there itself you have mobile you have internet so read the problem try to think of the solution and also use the time when you are taking showers or when you are eating alone in the mess or canteen or maybe you are simply walking to the lecture hall uh, i used to utilize this time by solving computer programming problems or studying about new data structures algorithms this is what i call utilizing the gaps and it and it becomes really helpful and productive so this is something which really distinguished me from people who were not able to do a lot of things i i really believe that this is something which helps you be super productive okay of course the night time is a bit important like what you do from 8 pm to 12 pm is very important and you are a college student of course you sleep late and this time is very important you have your dinner after that what do you do so that time is very much important and if you have a large friend circle it will be difficult to step out step out of that and be focused and do something or do programming so either you have a very good friend environment wherein everyone is focused that's not going to happen i think so i don't know deal with that i don't know what works for you but yeah that 8 pm to 12 pm time is very much important what you do over there and maybe you can solve computer programming problems for one or two hours and for the rest two hours you can go to your friends or maybe watch some game of thrones episode or something like that okay so once you do computer programming regularly for 3 4 months at that point of time maybe you can take a small break of 2 weeks 3 weeks a month and dedicate that time for development activities in that one month or 3 weeks you can go to w3 schools maybe you can go to udemy or maybe you can try youtube you can you can pick up any technology like building restful web services or how to use databases or how to create websites and in that amount and in and in those 2 3 weeks you can focus on development side and you can build your skills for that area how to do that you have internet with you just utilize that okay so again the thing is that do computer programming constantly and you have 4 year is a long time so between those 4 years when you are doing computer programming or between those 3 years when you are doing computer programming you can take small breaks and in those breaks you can focus on other things like web development machine learning android development and all those things also i would say when you are in summer vacations you should do internships and when you are doing internships you should again utilize the breaks like the lunch breaks and when you are doing internships make the work life balance is pretty good so in the evenings maybe you can chill out and then one or two hours you can again do computer programming or study about data structures and algorithms so if you continue to do all these things i am definitely sure that you will be able to achieve a lot of things because if you are doing this you will be definitely be good at computer programming so the first worry of cracking coding interviews is off the table and um since point after point in your 4 years you have done development activities also so you have your resume a flavor of development projects as well now so this also helps you in cracking jobs offline when you have to apply or get referrals and then again you are doing computer programming so you are able to crack coding interviews so in this way i really feel you can achieve a lot of things and for fitness what i used to do was that um i i lost around 18 or 20 kg so i was like really fat um so i lo- i lost around 18 to 20 kg when i was in college and that's just by running so i used to jog for 30 40 minutes and then do some weights so this was my schedule of course i am a human being i used to mess this up but i had that inner voice with me which led me to do in- retrospection and i used to always come back on track and in this way it really turns out beautiful and i hope this video was useful and it gave you a flavor about my personal life and also helped you get inspiration and correcting the mistakes that you were making or maybe get some new ideas so that you can also try them out let me know in comments what do you think about this video or if you have any more ideas to be productive and multi balanced things if you feel that i have i am speaking wrong feel free to use the comment section and i will see you next time bye bye